All right, what's up guys? This is JP from OrganicPriceBooks.com and today I'm gonna give you guys a little behind the scenes tour since it's Labor Day, everybody is off. So we have the whole place for ourselves. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna check out is basically our little dock area where we have our shipments come through. So we just open up this garage right here. We have a ramp, they, they pull up and we use this pallet jack right here to get all of the thousand pounds of books and we can move around the warehouse just fine. This is one of my best investments because before, when I used to work in my garage uh, back at home, we had to push <laughs> each pallet manually or load it up in a little dolly and roll it um, six at a time, whatever. So that took forever. So this thing saves so much time. We have um, a little bit of storage here too for bubble wrap. Um, this is our the first layer of bubble wrap and I'll show you our in-house one here in a bit. Okay, so we have our little, uh, truck dolly, I think that's what you call it, a truck dolly. We hold all our boxes here. We stack it up all the way until it hits like right here. So we can actually push it through, um, <laughs> push it through to get loaded on the USPS truck. And right here we have our little snacks and whatnot. Um, little microwave or too many bridges for water and then for like soda or whatever else they want to drink. And then we have our in-house bubble, bubble machine maker. So this is really cool. This is what we're gonna start using is these type of bubble wraps. And uh, what we what it is, is like even if you press down on it as hard as you can, it won't pop. So we invested a lot into making our our actual you know shipping better. So the only thing we have to worry about is like it deflating. But we're we're working on that, trying to figure out what's making it deflate. But if it ships, it should be very secure. Um, just gotta make sure we pack it really tight. And we're also moving on to double wall boxes, a little bit bigger, but double wall. So we won't have two boxes, one box inside of another box. It just takes up too much time. It takes about a minute and 10 seconds to pack up, pack it like that. But if we just do a double wall box with plenty of space. That takes about 30 seconds. So we get a lot more boxes out here. So I'm gonna show you real quick. This is where I set up all the books to be packed. So we have like a shipping label right here on top of the stack of books. They'll grab it. And we'll start right here. We have our um, tape dispenser where they, where my people pack. So this is our first station to pack. And then basically we grab a box, whatever, and we start packing. We have this little tape machine. We use this as our first layer of tape. And then after we finish that, we move like the half finished box over here. And we have the other team finish, um, put the, finish up with the in-house bubble wrap inside a bigger box or since we're moving on to double wall boxes they're just gonna um, just fill it up and put the bubble wrap in there and just tape it up and make sure we have our mailers right here as well because sometimes USPS like to mess around <laughs> but yeah so our first layer of bubble wrap will be this small one and then we'll make sure it's really secure with the big one right there so that's how we do our shipping right now and then each time we get a new shipment when we have pallets Let's say this Usagi one, for example, we will use the pallet jack, we'll bring it over here. That way, whenever we need to pack stuff, we can just grab it and start packing, grab and go. Super easy, super, super effective. And um, so right here, we have our, our pick and pull tables. This is what I like to call them. Um, the dolly for moving a lot of extra boxes. Like if we have a bunch of Usagi boxes, we'll just grab them, put on the dolly and move it to the back room for overstock. We also have the pick and pull table. So I like to use this one because it's super easy. But I'll, like, I'll have some labels like right here. I'll grab a book off the shelf and then like just put a label on top. I'm like, all right. And then I'll bring it back to the table later. So this is what I do. And sometimes I'll use this one when there's not stuff on here. But I like to use this one just to like put a bunch of cases on here and just putting it on my shelves and sorting. So how we have our shelves right now is basically we have all the absolutes on right here, all the longer books. And then uh, we have three shelves worth. We have extra space for the, like, the deluxes and if we get more absolutes. And then we're gonna start our way with the omnibuses alphabetically. So we have A's and we're going all the way down to we have like X-Men. I think that's the, the last one right now. And these extra shelves are not organized yet. But what they're gonna have is basically trades some um, hardcovers 
hard covers right here. So basically hard covers, trades, all the omnibuses will be right there. So this will be like the smaller books. And then this little shelf right here, <laughs> um, this is gonna be our, basically our wear and tear section where I'll be, you know, finding all the returns and whatnot, putting it there. We have a lot of wear and tear. We have some over there as well. I wanna point over there real quick. So we have some wear and tear right here or just returns that I need to go through. And then after I finish going through them, I'll put on the wear and tear section. So that's basically the back where we do all our packing and whatnot. And we have a little baby playpen for Samantha if she's not, if she's not uh, quality checking our boxes. And up here we have a lot of extra boxes as well. Um, just in case we get like people who order like five or six. We have like these big old diamond boxes that we put them in. So we have a lot of variety of boxes, but usually we like to stick with two boxes in total and just pack with those. But these are just for special occasions. And then we, we put our, our boxes, our extra boxes on top of the shelves. And then we, we actually put the boxes that we're using to pack on the corners. That way we can just have everything ready to go, ready to pack. All right, so let me bring you back to the front of the warehouse. Uh, show you guys what's going on over here. So we have a little bit of extra stuff here since, since the room, a little extra boxes. And then we have all our overstock. So some stuff I like, oh, I think this is gonna sell, but it doesn't, so I get stuck with it. So I'm like, whatever. But uh, yeah, we have a lot of Invincible Compendium Volume Ones over here. When it was sold out of Amazon, I bought thousands and thousands, and it, it, it was selling, and then Amazon got it back in stock. I'm like, oh crap, you know, I got stuck with it because they want to buy from Amazon instead of me now. So we have a lot of image over here, like Criminals, um, Spawn, we have some Dark Horse, we have Hero County Volume 1. They kind of screwed me because I was supposed to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or whatever there was, but they only reprinted Volume 1. I was like, man, and nobody wants volume one anymore because they didn't reprint the whole set. But whatever, that's a, that's a different story. We got basically everything else is all Marvel. We have all the Captain Americas and Spider-Mans and X-Factors. We got the Hulk reprints. We got X-Men, Asia Apocalypse Com Companion. We have low volume one and two. We have all the Wolverines. This is all that less of Wolverine volume two. Um, so come over here, we'll have basically empty shelf so far, I mean empty space. But over here, we have like um, some more Hulk Volume 2s, a bunch of Spider Gwen, I thought it was going to be a good seller, but it's kind of slow. <laughs> we got Aliens, Star Wars, Annihilation Conquest, uh, Carnage in the Corner, we got a lot of different titles. These are the Spider-Man Volume 5 that actually came in last week. Um, volume 5, the Kane cover and the Medina cover. But yeah, we have a lot of overstock. I need you guys to start buying them because, man, I want to hold all this stuff, man. <laughs> Help a brother out. Alright, and then, um, so we have this little playroom over here. So this is where, like, the kids hang out and like, clean up a little bit. But we have our little sofa, this little banner. They just hang out here, watch their um, sit on a tablet or draw, whatever. So, because my one of my employees hey, has three kids, man, he loves kids. Three daughters. That's crazy, right? Um, but yeah, so they hang out in that room, um, play with their dogs and whatnot. And then we have my office right here. It's still getting set up though. So the idea for this room is we have basically the workstation right here. It's gonna be in the corner. I need to get a better outlet. That way my wires reach. But the idea is to have the, the table, the desk in the corner, and this whole entire section over here will probably be like where I put some of my collections like statues and books and whatnot and have like a little table right here for reviews. So it'll be like a little review room or a YouTube room basically. So that's the idea of this thing. And then we also have like a little whiteboard. I'll start writing on it soon, like my projects and whatnot. And uh, yeah, so this is basically month one of moving into the warehouse. We have a lot of stuff set up from 
moving from the from the grass to the warehouse. It took a lot of time. It took three weeks to actually get everything in here because man, we had loaded so about probably 40 of these boxes at a time in a truck. It took so many trips. I killed my back for a little bit. That's why I'm taking a little vacation this week <laughs> to you know release some stress. But yeah, man, it'll be fun. Hope you guys like this little behind the scenes. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. What you think? What, what you think I should add? And if you'd like to see more of the behind the scenes video, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video.